Okay, so let's talk uh, Faro scene to go uh, project creation. If you already have a project that's been put together and you want to uh, load it onto your local drive or your computer or a thumb drive even, instead of going into export, uh, what you need to investigate is an app called scene to go This app is uh, usually uh, automatically loaded in Faro scene, but if it isn't, you can go into your apps and under apps, you may have it deactivated. If it's deactivated, then it's not going to show, obviously. You'll see that the icon kind of goes away. Any of these icons that you have in the apps um, uh, window can be activated and can be made available for you. So just make sure that it says scene to go when you're here. And it's as simple as following the, you know, from top down uh, workflow here. So we'll hit the button that says create scene to go data. Um, here you can specify all of your necessary information if you want to do different types of uh, visualization of your overall data, standard view, clear view, which is that, um, uh, what is it, uh, transparency view uh, of your outline. Um, again, I'm not going to change any of these. This is up to you to actually play with, but um, we can, I usually like to export grayscale images also with my color images. Name your project, give it a name. Um, maybe put some annotations in here for searching purposes, maybe put in some keywords if you want. If you want to output its position, you can input uh, your latitude, longitude. I'm not going to do any of this, so I'll just hit export. And uh, this will um, uh, replace existing data if you already had created this, and apparently I have um, uh, created a similar data set already from this project. But this will take uh, some time, so just sit back and relax and wait until this is finished. Okay, it seems that uh, it took uh, probably about two to three minutes in, in real time. I did speed up the video because I didn't want you to actually wait for it. And now that this is created, what you want to do is you want to transfer this data. So this has been created. There's no indication that it's been created here anywhere in the structure, unfortunately. Uh, you just have to remember that you've done it. If you haven't, you see that the, you get a message saying, hey, do you want to re-export this thing? But the next step will be transfer your scan to the uh, scan um, or scene to go uh, to a folder. This is where now you can click the little uh, browse button and find on your network, your drive or your uh, uh, computer location. I will put it on my D drive and maybe I'll make a new folder, call it scene to go. We'll go here. So on my computer, it'll go to my D drive scene to go. Copy all linked files. We'll say yes, transfer data. And this will transfer everything that is necessary uh, into that folder now. So you can directly go there, but if you go there, then you might be uh, mistakenly thinking that it's using scene to open this. So I'll just say, no, nope, that's okay. I'm now going to actually close scene because I'm ready to uh, proceed. What I'll do is I'll open up my file browser over here and I'll go to the same location where I just loaded it to or um, copied it to. It should say scene to go. Here you go. So this is the folder that was just now generated and created by me. Um, you can run it on a Mac or you can run it on a Windows machine. These are batch files. So this is an executable file that you can double click. So I'm running on Windows, so I'll double click this and it will open a self-contained uh, viewer and that viewer will show you the project. You have to allow access to these, uh, uh, this data, but here you go. Uh, now I'm looking at this. This is a browser. This browser is uh, a Chromium browser that's self-contained in the installation or uh, deployment of that scene to go project. Clicking it shows you the overview. Uh, you can kind of do a little bit of uh, investigating what's going on by going into each one of these, you know, uh, areas here, jumping into 3D if you want, and doing slight measurements here, nothing really fancy. So doing measurements like, uh, you know, how wide the doorway over here is or something like that. But ultimately, we are done with the actual data collection and the creation of the scene to go project. 
uh, you do have the overview over here, you do have the actual scan positions, and you can do a little bit of even area measurements over here if you want. And again, just uh, now this is up to you to uh, play with this. As long as you give access to this folder that I just double click this um, file, uh, into whoever you want access to this, they should be able to locally view this without uh, needing access to, you know, uh, web interfaces or something, as long as they have access to this, this whole folder, meaning everything that's in here uh, needs to stay uh, relevant to uh, where you actually exported it to, in my case, a folder called scene to go Florian, um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below.